get ready with me as i tell you guys how i met my fiance disclaimer if you're against selling that cat and putting a price on your kitty i suggest you exit because over here we got a price baby okay say hold up wait a minute something ain't right i am just doing the final touches on my makeup because honestly i filmed this video and then i was like oh let me film it again people come on my comments all the time and they're like be honest you were out selling that cat and that's how you met him and i was what because i have no shame in having a price on my kitty cat so I met my now fiance at one of my favorite hotel bars that I used to go to in Boston. I was actually waiting for my friend because she and I were gonna go a little bar hopping. This woman called herself a simp because no man in their right mind would date her. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up everybody welcome back to the channel hit that like button on your way in click on that notification bell that will let you know every time i upload content and you know what we're gonna do right before we do anything say it with me y'all we're gonna roll that clip so as soon as I walked in and sat down, I think I was sitting down for probably like two minutes. He walks in with his guy friend. Immediately they walk up to me. First thing he said was, can I buy you a drink? You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Take notes, ladies. That is how a gentleman approaches a woman. Nope. Sitting at the bar. He didn't ask me my name. He didn't ask me what I did for a living. He didn't ask any of those things. He just asked me what I wanted to drink. And the bartender was making our drinks. I excused myself to the ladies room and I wanted him to see my legs because my legs were out and I was looking good, okay? And when I came back, the sitting arrangements had changed because originally his friend was sitting next to me and he was sitting on the other side to his friend. And when I came back from the bathroom, him and his friend had exchanged seats. So it was gonna cost him because I'm sorry, you just met me. So if you're gonna assume I'm a, I'm going to be a hoe that gets paid. I'm not a free hoe. This is the sad, tragic tale of a modern woman that thinks selling her kitty equals getting a good man. Oh, that's nasty. And when you go to this video and you look at the comments, you have modern women cheering her on. This is a direct result of why feminism and modern women have destroyed the dating market. Yep. This is the reason why so many men are going overseas. You think that your kitty cat is that good that you're going to sell it? So let me get this straight. Your fiance was a trick who came to the club who bought your vajayjay and he got addicted to it and he decided to turn it into a housewife. I'm just going to let you know your dude is a simp and more than likely you're draining his resources. And while you're going out to the club, because you probably still go to the club to strip, you're going out getting other men to give you money while you have a fiance at home who is oblivious to what really goes on in strip clubs. So while your fiance is at home, oblivious, you're going out doing something strange for some change. This is why American black women are losing in the dating market. This is the reason why black women are not getting married. You see the statistics, and we've gone over those multiple times on this channel. 
from the street. This is why black women keep losing. Because hey, yo. they don't prioritize marriage and family. And then you wonder why we have videos like this and others roaming around on the internet. And this is the reason why other cultures of men don't want to date you. Black women think that you're going to go overseas and have the same success as black men. No. Overseas men do not want black women. Overseas men see how black women are online. They see how the modern woman treats the man. They see the disrespect. They see the adultery. They see the lies. They see the delusion. And they're like, keep that over there. We don't want it. Don't check for them. They are proving why they are not wife material. They are not even girlfriend material. A lot of these are not even good smash and dash material. Women are going to learn one way or another that being a modern woman just isn't going to work. It's not going to work for you. It's not going to work at all. It's time for women to prioritize family and relationships. Having a good man who can provide. It's time for women to worry about family. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Do not forget, I will be going live tonight, 6.30 p.m. Do not miss it. It will be a live calling show. Hope to see your face in the place. Like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know Every time I upload content, and until the next video, peace.